I just came back from the international market. I went to pick up some stuff for my spinach stew and my Oguchi soup that I'm going to be making. But today I'm just going to be making some spinach stew. And next time I will make some Oguchi soup. That will be the next video. But these are the things I pick up for the Oguchi soup right here. I got a cow skin right here. And them cow skin. This is it. I mean, this is the cow beef. I'm sorry. And this is the cow skin right here that I just opened just to make sure it was defrost. I'm about to clean this and then boil it. That's it right there. And this is the dry fish that I pick up for the Oguchi soup. And this one over here. This is another cow skin that I pick up. This one going to go with the spinach stew. And another dry fish. This is for the spinach stew. And you see the price, guys. Them things are not cheap. Just for this fish. And then this other fish. I'm to... Then I have my Oguchi seed right here. That I'm going to be using. It's already grinded for me. And then this is the chicken for the spinach stew that I got. I got my oil right here for my spinach stew. Then I pick up some gari. You know, we didn't have no more gari in the house. We love gari. Then I got cow beef right here for the spinach stew. And I have my onions and my red bell pepper for the spinach. And then these some fresh baby spinach right here. I like using the fresh kind if I can. And this is another one, some fresh one. And this is all my season over here, guys. This is my seasons right here. I would have took the packs off of it. My Maggi, Jumbo, my garlic powder to season the meats before the so I can stop boiling. Black pepper. I have my salt. And I have my adobo season. So I'm about to take everything apart so the meats can stop boiling. As you can see, I already took this one apart. I'm about to clean it real good. Anyway, I'll see you guys when the video is almost... I'm on, I almost forgot, guys. This is my jasmine rice. I'm so tired, guys. The kids are upstairs. I'll see you guys. I'm about to go ahead and take this um, fish apart, take the bones out. And I'm about to clean the cow skin, the beef. I'm about to put it in the pot so it can stop boiling. I'll see you guys when everything is done. And this is my bowl. I'm about to put to my Gary. Bye, loves. Hey, loves. I just got on cooking the meats. And then I just want to show you guys this, the fish. I, this is the skin of the fish. So you don't eat the bones and the skin. This is the flesh. This is mackerel, smoked mackerel. I just want to show you guys before I throw this skin away. And this is the meat. I just got done boiling it. I have chicken in there, cow beef, and cow skin. We call it kanda. This is it. You guys can see. So this is and chicken. I have chicken in there. And then I'm gonna be using this guys because after I get done with this, I'm about to um give my kids a bath. Because I was gonna use this um pepper right here, and I don't want to touch this right now, and I'm about to give my kids a bath. I don't want to accidentally touch their eyes with it. So I'm gonna save this because my son is sleepy right now. This is his body right here. I put it inside of here, inside of this hot water, so I can get warm. So I'm, I'm not trying to take no chance. And this is everything right here, guys. I washed this spinach, guys. Make sure you wash it. I already washed it. But I left it inside of this bowl because I didn't want to use something else. Look at my nails. I took this one off. I'm trying to take these other ones off. And this is the spice I'm going to be using. Cayenne pepper. This one is very spicy. I just need a little bit of this. Because I know I'm not going to be touching this. And this is my season and stuff in here. Jumbo, Maggi, and Adobo. And this is the onions I'm going to be using. I already chopped my onions down. Those are my pepper I'm going to be using, guys. I'm just using this red pepper just for color because I don't want it to be all green. So I wanted to have some type of color to it. But you can um, 
grind yours if you want because sometimes I grind mine but I like mine like that I just just like to just cut it down a little bit and just use it like that guys my pot is getting hot I got my rice on fire because I'm about to go ahead and put in some oil a little bit just a little bit you don't need a whole lot hold on guys let me fix my camera Okay, loves. I just want to adjust my pot. I'm gonna go ahead with my onions. I'm just gonna let these onions fry in for just about one minute, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in the, the pepper, guys. Nothing extra. Okay, love, so I'm about to go ahead and put in this bell pepper in. Remember what I said. You can um, crush yours if you want. Or you can do them like this. My auntie used to crush hers all the time. Till she tastes my, my food one day. She came over my house and she saw that I didn't crush my pepper. Since then, she been doing hers like that. She was like, oh my goodness, this even tastes better. Because once it's done, it's like invisible in there. You can't really tell. It's not going to be like, boom, right on your face. It's going to be invisible in the spinach. But you can always crush it if you want. Like I say, I crush mine sometimes, but not all the time. So it's up to you. Okay, loves. Um, I just went ahead. I forgot to show you guys that part. I put a little bit of this in there. This um, tomato paste. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. A little dime. Just to give it that reddish color because I'm not using palm oil right now. So if you want to take it to another level, you can. I'm about to go ahead and use my little pepper. My season, guys. You don't have to use this. If I have a palm oil, I don't use this. And even if I don't have a palm oil, I don't use it sometimes. But sometimes when I want that reddish color to it, and that's the trick. My friends and them, when sometimes they come over, I have spinach or my auntie. She was like, did you use palm oil? She's like, because it tastes good. I said, no, I didn't use no palm oil. She's like, what do you use? And I would tell her. So, you know, they started to learn about it. They say they like it because they give it that reddish color, but it's not, no palm oil in it. There's another thing I use. It's another cue. But when I went to the international market, aftermarket, they didn't have it. They ran out. So I have to go to the Senegalese store. Because every time I go to the Senegalese store, they never ran out. They always have some. But when I go to the Sierra Leone store, or the Ghana store, the Congolese, or the Nigeria store, Elijah, please stop. Sometimes they don't have it all the time. Because the Senegalese store, one thing I have to say, every time I go in there, they're stocking things up. They stocking things up. So they never ran out of stuff in there. I have to give it to them. But I looked it up from Amazon. Amazon also sell it. But my friend telling me about this one um store. She said it's, it's not a Nigeria store. I forgot what store is it. It's a West, West African store. She said they always have a lot of stuff there. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay, guys. We are about to go ahead and taste this baby. I'm about to go ahead and put the um meats in there. Let me go ahead and taste. Hmm. This is good. That taste? Mm hmm This is very good. I mean it's smacking my tongue. Mm. You like it? That's my uh -huh. oldest son tasting it, guys. He love it. This will be go this will go very good with um fish. Like a whole fish. Either a grilled fish or fried fish and put it next to it with plantain. Boom, this will go very good. It tastes so good. Whoa. Sister got them blessy hands. I'm about to put this meat in. So that way the flavor can get inside of the meats. Before I put in the spinach, then a little bit of water. Mm. 
even something just like this this will go very good just nice meats with some plantain Ooh, this would be delicious i take this to the international party the african party oh, everybody would get up and see who food is that like always, who food is that? Who food is that? When I nice. take the food to my African party, they be like, "Who food is that?" Somebody food tastes good. Y'all gotta try that food. Then when I get up to see who food they talking about, they talking about Hana food. I be like, "Thank you, Jesus. It tastes so good." Those are blessing hands, gift to hands. I don't taste one of the chicken. Mmm. And it smell good. What's y'all the slurp right now? Are you trying to eat fat fat, huh? Taste it. That's good, ain't it? Mmm. Yes, it's good, guys. It's fried. It's getting that flavor in there, guys. That juicy flavor, guys. Imagine you just get this on the side with some planting. This will go well with fufu too. Or just chomp chomp. We call it chomp chomp. Chomp chomp. Mm -hmm. Just little snacks. This is very good, guys. Very good. I'm about to go ahead and put in my fish. My drying fish, guys. Don't worry, guys. I'm about to take yeah. them things off. Yeah. Because I let the um, fish soak. So you're going to add the spinach? Mm -hmm. Then a little bit of water. Some people add water at the beginning. I don't. Because spinach alone has water in it. So I like to see once the spinach get in there, then I add a little bit of water. But you can do whatever, you know, you like. Mmm, this smells so good. I'm going to try one of those meat real quick. What makes this? Yeah. Yeah, you should wait for the fish. The fish. What it tastes like? It tastes just like fish. It tastes like fish. It's oh. good. It smells. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You like it? You like the mm -hmm. flavor? Okay. I already tasted the meat earlier when I took it out the pot. I tasted with Elijah, and he wanted more. I was like, you got to wait till the food done. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys. I'm going to let this fry for a little bit. I'm going to put the spinach in, put in a little bit of water. And that's it, guys. My rice is almost done. Okay, loves, I'm about to go ahead and put in my spinach now. You guys can see it. That was the best meal I ever had. Oh, that meat set you taste? It's very good. I think the pot's gonna get full. Nah, it's gonna go down. I do this all the time. Just both of them. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, the spinach in. I'll see you guys. Are you gonna save one? Once the spinach get in there, I'm gonna add a little bit of water in, okay? Okay, loves. I'm about to go ahead and add a little bit of water. Remember, I was telling you guys, all of that stuff was gonna be able to fit. As you can see, that's one. One of the bowl I use right here. And that's another one, guys. Spinach is once that stuff start cooking down, you know, it just shrink down. Mmm, that smells so good in here, guys. It smells so good. See that meat? That's that cow beef. All the goodies in there. Smell real good. So guys, I'm going to let it finish cooking now. And I'm going to show you guys the finished look, okay? Okay, loves. This is it. The end of it. We about to go ahead. Should look good, guys. It's nice and done. This is the cow skin, guys. We call it kanda. I'm about to go ahead and dish it out. Look at it, guys. 
and some chicken. Chicken and beef. This is cow beef. Okay, loves, this is the finished looks. That's the spinach um, soup that I make to go with my rice. I have the rice on the side over there, but this is what I'm going to be eating with it. Yeah, guys, this is it. The kids are upstairs. They're about to eat. I was just blocking the light. But that's it. That's all the meat in there. It look good. It look delicious. Bye, loves. Give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.